you're 60 now. Yep. Right. Being 60. Mm -hmm. Made it this far. How's that like? Uh, not like 50. <laughs> well, a little more sore. <laughs> a little more sore. <laughs> don't see as well. Don't remember as well. And that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. I just got to get off my lazy butt and do some exercise every now and then, and I'll feel like a million bucks. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I thought about exercising, but then I thought better of it. Yeah, I always think it hurts too much, and I'd like to exercise, but it takes way too much energy. Yeah, but good for the mental. Yes. Yeah, yeah good for everything. Mm -hmm. It is funny what a walk can do for your mental health. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, unless like you did my uh, my walk two days ago when I walked on the beach. I told you with all the dead fish, oh, all yeah. the salmon. Yeah. Washed up and floor on right up on the shore. I was yeah. on the sand, so it was like it was like being a kid again, walking off. But the stench is yeah, <laughs> yeah, a bunch of dead fish on the in the yeah on the sand. Yeah, yeah, and kicking them all, put them over, right, to see what happened to them, and of course they all just died because they're what do you call it? Salmon spawning. Yeah, that time of year, I guess. Mm -hmm. That time of year. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Another Men's Mental Monday. <laughs> Kale, Poppy, Soup, Board, the Hummer broke down. Board has two Hummers. The Hummer broke down. He, uh, well, because his family owns a dealership. So yeah. yeah. He's a Hummer guy. But... Electric Hummer or gas Hummer? Gas. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Remember when I was young, I wanted a Hummer? Always. Always. I was yeah. a Hummer guy. Yeah. Every... Everyone we saw in public, you had to run over a little five, six-year-old and get a picture with one. And thank God I grew out of that. <laughs> and then those are two, the two, the mom and the daughter in town with their really nice colored gray, uh, um, green Hummer. And where so, we used to live. Yeah, where no. we used to live. And then you wanted to pictures with them or whatever but then they ended up being drug dealers or <laughs> yeah so <laughs> that's funny it was funny huh i didn't know that yeah i almost got abducted for the drug trade yeah just to get a picture yeah <laughs> that's okay hummers were cool mm -hmm. but uh i like them and i mean obviously we're there they have the um big one like from being in the military, like the oh yeah, H, was it H ones? Yeah, H ones. Yeah. So I mean, that kind of gives them a a better reputation. Yeah. But and then oh wow, really? Eh? Isn't that something bored? Well, everybody knows about horrible gas mileage with those things. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember must have been ten years ago or something, and then all the university students were going nuts and um, vandalizing Hummers because they were weren't green or whatever the heck oh right yeah there was the big yeah we even had a an employee who she she was into that you know where hummers were this horrible thing and hummers were the earth killers yes that was it earth earth effers yeah yeah the, the earth effers but that's yeah. okay yeah heifers 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 <laughs> yeah heifers a cow right yeah yeah well, yeah, it's a it's a castrated uh, cow. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was a girl. Okay. No, uh, that's a cow. That's just a cow. cow. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a cow. Cow. Yeah. Okay. Um, she really be at school. Bad. Yeah. Well, that's Poppy. That's him. That's how it goes. I know. I love. I love every time. It's I should be at school. I should be. Every Monday. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. He's as consistent as me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Yeah. Your anniversary was yesterday? Yes, my anniversary, 34 years of marriage. Ooh. Probably younger than you guys listening, right? Yeah. I'm the old one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm one of the old ones. So. Yeah. 34 years of marriage. Oh. Mm -hmm. Marriage is... The legal way of slowly dying. Like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> yeah, like that, a rotisserie a, chicken. That's a marriage, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And every man tells you the same god darn thing. 
<laughs> it's been that's over half your life. It's the yeah, for, it for is for a few years yeah, now. No, it's it's over half but my life. Yeah, that's impressive. What's up, Robbie? It is. Um. Uh. Hi, Robbie. This is Pops. Pops. I'm not sitting low. It's just that William is taller than me. Yeah, a little bit. That's okay. Yeah. No, it's not. Uh, marriage is a good thing. Mm -hmm. If you do it the right way, it works well. Well, it's been most of mom's life. Yeah. It's... Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Great. Almost forgot it was Monday. Trey did a little. <laughs> Trey did a, a silly little Twitch Prime. Thank you, Trey. Look at that. Plus $3 cool. in my pocket. Oh, cool. <laughs> and Jeff Bezos. And Jeff Bezos. Unfortunately, I'm splitting my money with Jeff Bezos and really, Justin eh? Trudeau. But, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Holy smokes. But that's okay. There's worse things out there. Well, Jeff Bezos, he needs money, the poor guy. Yeah. Did you see uh, the Jeff Bezos? He was really interested in, what was it, Apollo 11 or something like that? And... He so uh, he put together a massive crew of like fifty people, yeah, and what like scientists, like all these people, and went uh, to the middle of the ocean, and tracked down where the boosters were. Oh yeah, and went and, like scooped it out, like got it for his own personal collection. Oh my like, god! Yeah, because he he wanted it, so he got it. <sighs> I I'll tell you what, if if you know if money wasn't an object for people or for me. I would do stuff like that. Yeah. Like the fun stuff. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, you know, I'd go to some sort of ancient Roman runes or whatever and get some souvenir or something. Like, you know. Go like, to the Coliseum and make two people fight. <laughs> that would be awesome. Get a tiger. Buy a tiger yeah. and then just get some poor guy off the street. Just go, hey, look, I just want to do some, you know, I want to see a reenactment. Here's some armor and stuff. And you know, <laughs> just go in the middle of that thing. And then <laughs> up comes the door and out comes a tiger. <laughs> Get Mike Tyson versus Tiger. Yeah. And then you could at least you get a half an hour of the Tiger chasing him in a circle until he's exhausted. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'd be good, actually. Yeah. Start up the Coliseum. Yeah, restart the Coliseum. See, look at the fun things you could do if you had a lot of money like that. Instead Whoa. of, like, all the creepy stuff they do. Who do you think owns the Coliseum? Is that Vatican? I'm going to presume it's... No, I think it's uh, <laughs> the country... Uh, well, uh, sorry, Italy, yeah. Italy, Still like yeah. a national treasure. Kind right, of yeah. Sacred, yeah. obviously. Yeah, if anybody needs a place to go in their life, go to Italy. It's just the most beautiful place. Mm. Well, I guess it's... Uh... <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. That's a good one. What's up, His five? light's knocked out every time. <laughs> How are you, five? Welcome, my boy. That's awesome. Happy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we do uh, have UFC Bad and WWE. Bad that's a good point. Bad I was thinking of Tiger. I'm only stroking my dick. I got lotion yeah. on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. I'm horny <laughs> as fuck, man. man. I'm a freak, man. man. Like, like cockfighting. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just thinking, like, you know, if you had billions like a lot of these people do nowadays and you wanted to spend on something, it'd be neat to do. I don't know. I'd, I, You know what I'd do? I'd buy one of those submarine... Um, submarine um uh, su just a submarine for the public <clears throat> you know you mean for people to go on yeah like like you can buy submarines private submarines now oh no? that's what i would buy and then Start you just your... take your family out for a trip and you know yeah that'd yeah. be fun attach some spear guns to the submarine and just start fucking yeah through, through a little tv just start blasting fucking yeah, yeah. Ex exotic fish you could do a lot of stuff man <clears throat> Jesus Christ. His throat is so itchy. <clears throat> oh, oh, look at that. Easy. Easy. You gotta bring down oh, his awesome. Oh, yeah, Pappy. Good memory. <laughs> Last time my private submarine went out? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus uh, that's a good point. I forgot about that. Jesus five. Well, and actually, I... it doesn't even count then to make the to make the owner come out with you because that guy did and didn't work very good. The what, sorry? The owner of the uh, the designer of the submarine. Mm -hmm. He went out with them. 
Oh, did he? Yeah, every time, right? Was, and, he, was and, he the pilot? Yeah, he's the pilot. Oh. So, so much for that. Hmm. Goddamn. Good morning. Morning, Frog. Wish you the best fro uh, five. Goddamn. In Disney, they had a restaurant that was in a shark tank. Oh, really? I guess. That's like, um, in like, uh, Saudi oh, Arabia. They, like oh, they, yeah. They have all those, like, like exotic restaurants. Oh, okay. Like, or... Yeah. There's like a restaurant that's underwater, like Yeah. See those are again, those are the fun things to do if you had you know had the means. You need you know? experience. Yeah. You could buy yourself a nice boat. Yeah, a boat would be neat, I uh, guess. I, I I'd like one of those boats that you go on the lake with the two um um hulls, you know, that we've always talked about, and then you put a barbecue on it and two hulls? Yeah, like the two uh Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. You know, like, like a different kind of houseboat almost. Houseboat. Or a different kind of pontoon. Or pontoon boat. Yeah. Pontoon boat. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, you ate there. I'm not sure. Uh, I want to go. I'll ask. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I agree. You can see that. Actually, you can see more of the Titanic online now on Google or whatever than you can if you went down. Yeah. Uh, well, I that's mean, where, because that's where they were going to see it in the submarine, right? So. Yeah, I think so. so. Yeah. I guess they thought to see it. Well, no, they would have been mincemeat by the time they got close enough, I guess. Yeah, because as, as soon as the pressure just um, Implode. imploded, yeah, literally, their body mush. would have, yeah. There's been a mush of... Closed casket? Yeah, <laughs> closed casket, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. I mean, I yeah, guess you wouldn't would even be... have known, like... You no, might, no. Do you no. hear that? And then something. Yeah. You might hear like, or something, and then. Like, that doesn't like sound a good. Split <laughs> yeah. yeah. So not, you'd have enough time to go, that's not right. Is it? <clears throat> and then gone. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's um, worse ways to go. Yeah. Probably. As long as it's quick, it's the right way. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to say about the submarine, like, and then uh, eating in that restaurant under the water. I don't know if you guys are too young, but I remember going to Disney World and. Um, I went in that um, submarine ride that they have torn out years ago. Um, it never really went under the water. It was Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. No? Yeah. And, they, and they, it was like one of their most famous rides for decades. And then um, it, just, it, it was just too expensive to maintain. It was like an actual mini submarine? Or... Bye, Pappy. Or... Yeah, yeah. It was a. Uh, there were submarines on a on a. They were kind of uh, Hollywoodish submarines, and uh, they were just on a you know like like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And then it, it just told you it, your window was below water, mm -hmm. but it never dove. But they made it. They made it look like you dove. Oh, you know, water would pour. Yeah. Bubbles would come to make it look at, it, and it would get darker because you would go through a cave. Oh, and then there were fake marine animals and scuba divers out. You know, oh. pinned in the water and stuff. It was actually really good. A dog wearing a fish suit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. A little yeah. chihuahua wearing a piranha <laughs> yeah. outfit. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. I'm I glad mean, I got to see it. Uh, I was, it was probably removed. It sounds pretty cool. Yeah. It would be different it, for sure. Yeah. I, it probably went to world when I was super young. So, yeah, it may even, I'm old, right? Like, I'm, like, you know, I'm 60. So, I went to that particular one when I was 23, yeah. So, I mean, shit, I guess that could have been gone 10 years before you were born, maybe even. No. Math says. What's it called? It's called 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. 20,000 Leagues? Yeah, Disney World. Huh? Well, which is, it's, it was a Disney movie based on a book. It was so famous. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Submarine Voyage. Yeah. Yeah, there it is right there. This, yep. That'd be the one. Oh, wow. It yeah. looks very... Isn't that neat, the subs? Mm hmm Huh. Yeah. So you would sit... So, so you can't see, but below that water line is where you would look out of. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's a normal ship, but where you're sitting, it makes it feel like you're in a submarine. Yeah, and it's on a track, right? Right. 
Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. So. But now it's no longer. Too expensive, eh? For <laughs> Brave for Arm Kelly. <laughs> yeah, too expensive. So, and it took so, like, it took so long to unload people out the front and load them out the back. And just all sorts of things. But it's pretty cool. And then there's only one surviving sub. Somebody, maybe Bezos bought it. And uh, the other subs they buried in their junkyard. You mean these subs? Yeah. They the had like that were used probably, I don't know, about six or eight of them for the ride. Oh. But yeah, they buried them in their junkyard. You know, they have uh, for old rides and stuff. Yeah. And then the, somebody took one or something or anyway. Yeah. It'd be cool to, oh, I, I think we went through, um, when we went to Disney World, we went through the Disney junkyard, right? Um. I can't remember to be honest. Yeah. I think we did, but I mean, I was. I so young well, I think that... it would be off the grounds. What do you call it? Out of bounds or whatever. Being Disney, your pops is sixty six. <clears throat> that's that's middle aged. Um, right. That's at least now that I'm sixty, I'm thinking it's middle aged. You're thinking that sixty six sounds young? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm still not convinced. Morning, sixty is young. Hmm. But my brain says it's well. You ain't twenty. Semi. Yeah, I know. I'm not <laughs> twenty. <laughs> I'm not. I'm no longer. Okay, I'm no longer uh, halfway through life. I'm now a little past that. A little past. But I mean, mm. some people have lived to 130. Apparently. Yeah, but you don't want to. No, no. I always see them. A bag of bones. Trying to eat and. Yeah. Ah, the secret to love. No, they can't even say that. Like, you're uh, a bag of bones covered up by flesh. Yeah, you are. Sagging flesh. Yeah. Yeah, essentially, it's exactly. So it's like, I don't know. Anything over 100, you're usually. Oh, Robbie. Usually. Yeah. Yeah, 100. It ain't, yeah, it ain't it's pretty. a tough one. No. But. Robbie is 39. Mm. You're, I guess, technically, that would be middle aged. So 60 is. I'd say, yeah, that's pretty old. Bang down the middle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just think about Robbie, you could double your life yet. Yeah, exactly. That's why I always looked at it. Yeah, if, as long as you can double your number realistically, I'd say that's probably half. Decent. Yeah. 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 Mm, hey, that's okay. You're just on the back nine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the back <laughs> nine. Ah, you know what? I always enjoyed the back nine. Because you know, the nineteenth hole was always relaxation. Yeah, you got a good so, buzz going your yeah. Warmed up to your game. Yeah. Your... You loosen up. Yeah. That's a good you're way to look at it. There you go. Yeah. A little tired. The bones ache a bit. A little sunburnt. Yeah. Too much sun. Yeah. Walking, pulling, or carrying your bag on those days. Carrying your bag? Yeah. <laughs> it was heavy. Yeah. <laughs> carrying your bag got heavy. Yeah. The marble, <laughs> the marbles hang lower. Yeah. It's just like. Yeah. That's okay. The ride continues. Yeah. <laughs> It always yeah. continues. Well, how old is your mom now, Grandma? My mom? Oh. Yeah. Uh, born in 36, so I think she's like 86 or 87. Yeah, my mom's like 86 or 7. She still golfs. She walks an hour and a half every morning. Mm -hmm. She used to go to the gym as of last year. She works at the church every day. Almost, yeah. or does paperwork for them, and um, and always out with her girlfriends for breakfast or coffee. That's crazy. Yeah, she is, and all she takes is a a vitamin pill, hmm. and that's all she takes. Never complains. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. If I could be like her at eighty something, yeah, it is awesome. Hmm. Um, nothing but a vitamin. Nothing but a vitamin. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. She she's had a good a good run in her later years. But her siblings were blessed. Her sisters. Yeah, all of her sisters. Her brothers did okay. I mean, typical male life age, right? Late seventies. Um, but all the sisters lived to their eighties and nineties. Wasn't that some one of them a hundred? Uh, I think that was Mildred. She hit a hundred or a hundred and a hundred or a hundred plus. Mildred. Don't mean it don't meet any Mildreds anymore. Yeah. No, no Mildreds, no, none of my aunts. No. Uh, I forget what their names were, but 
like That's a long time. All the, like the Peggy's. And yeah, the, yeah. All the World War Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. All those names are. Uh, yeah, they're gone for some reason. Yeah. Mildred was. I should know. Christ, I had so many of them. The other ones. Mm -hmm. I forget. No. Yeah, those names are. My mom passed away at sixty-one. Oh gosh. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, okay. It was only friend. That means they probably had a good relationship up till then, though. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, my wife and I are best friends. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, um, yeah, I'd be high, hard pressed. Um, friend wise, I guess I never thought of that. Yeah, you'd have to go. Yeah, I'd have to. Who knows? Join the local bingo club or something. Oof. But you're. Yeah, 61 is young. Mm -hmm. It is important to go to the doctors, chat. Anybody yeah. that has anything going on. Actually, yeah. That's mental, right. physical. That's right. Yeah, mentally, physically. Yeah, you got, if you don't go to the doctor, then, um, well, whatever. Well, who knows what it can be. Like, yeah. I'm only 24, and by the time I was 21, I had kidney stones and collapsed lungs. So those are both, like, weird, rare, like, painful things yeah. that i didn't know what was going on that yeah that we didn't know you have to get checked out not yeah. that either of those were a disease or anything like that i'm not comparing it to that but just in terms of like knowing what's going on in your body and why pains are there and yeah getting it diagnosed and treated or like just for an ease of mind like yeah and the ones who uh uh care about you that's the main thing too right yeah uh, not the main thing but for yourself and for those who you are in relationships where they worry about it, right? Yeah, a lot of people count on it. Yeah, want to make sure you're okay too, right? Yeah, so that's right because it's now real mo November. No, now it actually is November. Now it's <clears throat> November, so yeah, it's not just yeah. It's it's a pain taking time out to go to the doctors. It sucks in Canada because we're not private. It's yeah, the treatment's less than whatever. Yeah, because uh, Delphine Giant Bikes is her Twitch name. Oh, uh, right. She went to the ER because she wasn't feeling good, and that was like a four, five, six-hour wait. Yeah. And that's pretty st pretty standard. Yeah. Like, you usually have to book off time to uh, get seen. <laughs> Thanks. What's up, PhD? <laughs> So many hot dudes. Holy, look at that. My goodness. Yeah. Hmm. It was a time. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll take those compliments wherever I get them. And so, trying to see where I look the best. Here. Trying to find here. your angle or? Yep. And what? Yep. That's okay. You're killing it. Hmm. Never been on camera. No? Now you are. Yeah. <laughs> now you are. It is weird getting in front of a camera like when I first started streaming. Well, that was 2019 or wow, 18 when I first when I did my first ever stream. Yeah. But rescheduling a dermatologist next closest date was like in 8 months, not very fun. Holy smokes. Wow. Is that America or is that uh Canada? The land of the Canadas. You look like you'd be a good NHL coach. Ever thought about it? Hey, look at that. I'd love to be. When I coached were, uh, the boys hockey when they were young. When you were coaching us, did you think you wanted to like take Continue? it more serious? Yeah. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. Hmm. Cali. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it's fun. It was good. All day in the ER. Wow. Holy smokes. Holy shit. Wow. Wait. Yeah, they do. Uh... That, that That's wrong. I mean, you guys in the States, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, we have a lot of social programs, a little too many. The government's involved in here, but you're, you guys should have uh, free health. I mean, God, the richest country in the world, you should be able to have free health. Yeah, just as a standard baseline. Yeah, just if, a baseline. I feel like if you still want to pay to get that extra treatment or like 
you know yeah or get your lips have the private lifted or your cheeks out or whatever you call that botox you want to get that then pay for yourself but some brand new boobies yeah but i think you know you should sur surely get basic health care but yeah you wonder why um health is is such a critical thing when you got to pay like that yeah if i had to pay for every visit uh i'd be definitely more reluctant to go well but, you sure yeah you yeah. are reluctant anyway and then if you had to pay there's yeah. no way i'd go yeah for every visit what's up understanding welcome my oh, wow. king not enough tax money is going to the wards all yeah i mean I don't know. It is it is weird. I mean, I get America does a lot of military spending, but there is more money. Yeah, I mean, it, honestly, if America wanted to do it, the money's there. Yeah. It's just, unfortunately, um, yeah, there's just too much, too many, too much influence politically, too much money from big companies padding whatever, whatever you guys, senates or, or con yeah. con congressmen or whatever it is. The big pharma and the what do you call it lobbyists? Yeah, yeah. You guys got military spending. All I was got people taking too many people to lunch. Make it happen. A lot of whining and dining. Yeah, a lot of whining and dining and yeah. It's uh, I forget what I was watching, but it might have even been the uh, Trump um, interview oh. with Joe Rogan or like oh, yeah. podcast. Yeah, I think he said. Like, people become lobbyists. They yeah. get, like, this company a bunch of, like, grant, like, uh, leeway and, like, get them set up to make a lot of money. Yeah. And then work out a deal with them for a job position at that company. So wow. they can retire as lobbyists and just work for that company making... Wow. A ton of cash. Yeah. Doing yeah. nothing. Yeah. Wow. So so that's why it's kind of this never-ending, you know, just that yeah train chugging along, making... Yeah millions of dollars but it's bad because it's just a embedded corruption that is um is incurable it's like a disease unfortunately yeah. through the pol political ranks right and yeah. then it destroys the country slowly yeah you guys it's the big election week yeah election party yeah we're having one here kind of yeah yeah we're yeah actually... i won't be streaming tuesday i'll be keeping mom company making yeah. sure she stays sane yeah, she but. decided to, yeah, go Trump. Uh, yeah, she decided to have an election kind of party tomorrow night. Pizza and beer and wine. And I'm going to watch you guys uh, go through some sort of change. Whatever way it happens, it's going to be a change. I mean, every election seems like the biggest election. So it does, I guess. So it's always kind of. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah. we'll see corruption yeah a lot of a lot of silly a lot of silly corruption lying around this place yeah yeah you know i i guess yeah i guess oh minnesota might be going red this year closest it's been in over a decade hmm. red is uh republican yeah oh okay. yeah receive fdr complete <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the the two term is is nice, but it's also it can be silly. Like when you get a good president, but that's the hard part. I guess it's been a while. Yeah, that's the tough part. Like if you were up here, it's bad because you end up with a Trudeau, and that that guy is never gonna like leave. I mean, next year's our election, and I he's such a wily, corrupt guy. I I can't. I I think he's gonna stay. There goes my Canadian government sponsorship. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we love him. Yeah, I'm gonna get on my hands and knees for that guy. Yeah. No, yeah, it it is. Uh, uh, hey, Pappy. Yeah, the Canadian politics is also a slippery slope. So yeah, obviously always. there's no perfect. It is what it is, right? Way of going about it. No. So no matter what it is, there's a way to manipulate it for yeah. personal gain. I so. think William should be in politics. I probably can't now. How come? Because of that comment. <laughs> well, uh, oh, the amount of things I've said online that are just um, permanently there. Oh, I see. Oh, so, do I you really trust this guy with your country? And then it'll be like their oh. uh, propaganda against me. It's going to be like me humping my bed and like oh. <laughs> shoving things up my ass. And... 
threatening to, I guess I should yeah, say. I yeah. haven't done any of that on the stream. Yeah. Or off. I heard the Trudeau when we spent like, you know, he, he's a bad guy. He's, yeah. yeah. Trudeau likes to surf while he's working. He's also a, uh, by definition, his father and him, I mean, his, you know, they're, they're very, very um, socialist, almost to the other extreme. Yeah, Price is, you know. Yeah, Trudeau's dad was the first prime minister to put Canada in debt. And yeah, then huge debt. Now Justin's making sure that we don't come back out of it. Yeah, and it keeps, it. I mean, debt and the high prices keep everybody kind of. Delete the VOD. Yeah, no proof, no proof, no proof. Delete the. Put fuck normalized $80 proof. Uh, VOD is, um. Every time I do a stream, yeah. it records it, oh. and then uh, I can like have it for people to watch if they miss the stream or whatever. Oh, okay, I see. So okay. it's proof. Oh, it's proof. Oh. <laughs> it's proof. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> JD Vance to admit to banging his couch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey. <laughs> yeah, but who the hell would you trust? Some guys who secretly are out there with underage minors who don't tell you and they look like businessmen or some guy who openly bangs his couch for fun and conversation banging furniture yeah banging furniture you take him to a fucking ashley's furniture he's just oh <laughs> oh geez yeah, the brick and oh. it's just like can't get him out of there he's getting bricked up yeah <laughs> yeah that poor guy yeah it's uh it's again who do you pick <laughs> yeah it's yeah yeah, each to their own. That's why people have opinions. And, yeah, that's um, why there's two teams to vote for, I guess. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't I think don't an know. independent will ever get elected. No, no, no. no. You don't have enough money and whatever. No Even backing, like no doesn't... no name. Yeah. I mean, because that's why I'd... Even Trump admitted it or said it. Like, yeah. That's why he went Republican is because yeah. you, you need that backing. Yeah. So it's Trump's like... vice president. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you do need the money and the backing. Trump was an independent. I don't know if you guys kind of remember that. He was independent. I think he quickly switched. He had no choice but to pick a party, and he picked, of course, Republican. And, mm -hmm. you know, because Ross Perot, um, he was an independent, and uh, he actually did pretty good. Um, but he didn't have a personality, you know, and, and, uh, and he, didn't, he didn't win. And, he was a solid, all-American, good person. Old American. Yeah. Farming corn and... Yeah. I don't know. That's it. Well, you, yeah, you ran IBM. You, short little guy, five foot two. Used to be a sailor. He looked like Popeye. <laughs> nice. Five foot two sailor. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they like him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how they like him. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Get to start social media before moving to the politics. That's true. It's true. I'll just delete all the evidence, and then uh, nobody's gonna know. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. What? No, uh, don't worry. All politicians sooner or later get their start in social media. Yeah. Yeah, I guess if all these politicians and even Trump, for that matter, all of their past and yeah uh, scandals and stuff, if they can get in, then I'm I'm pretty sure my innocent jokes, I'd probably well, be fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or counter it with the truth. Yeah, I mean, look, look fuck the context. Trudeau did blackface, and yeah, he, he's king of the castle. Yeah, exactly. So, um, True. And he did it in context. I mean, you know, he was doing it. He was he's a what do you call it? He likes uh, art. Uh, art teacher he was an art teacher for yeah. Christ's sakes. Yeah. So blackface was a a form of singing and and stuff in the old days. Yeah, I mean, you know, it yeah. was an innocent enough thing. Yeah, I had no malcontent to it. But. Yeah, I doubt you do. But of course, everyone takes things yeah. and runs with it. Not that I want to defend the bugger, but at the same time. Oh, yeah. At the same time, who gives a shit what you do if you're not hurting anybody? Yeah. But it is funny that yeah. he yeah. did that after being a, right. a suck up. Yeah. But. True enough. Stupid enough to vote for him? Yeah, I, I thought I might have seen that interview. I'm not sure, though, fashion. I feel like I may have seen that. But when the oh, dictatorship, God, I wish we knew. I don't that's know. the thing I say. That's the thing that scares me. They're very smart. Well, theater world. 
Oh, wow. Bull moose party. Oh, really? I didn't realize that. And ate most of the... <laughs> <laughs> That's the issue with... That's... uh Yeah. With third or like independent yeah you're taking away votes from the two people that are actually gonna vote or win so it's like yeah well that's interesting that rfk was an independent i think uh R obviously because he wasn't or like rfk jr the oh, one, oh, the, I don't the know one right now he was i'm pretty sure he was really eh? yeah because oh, okay, he was... could have been republican and he could have been democrat and i don't really think there's a third party that's in much of a running and um america because we have liberals conservatives ndp and ndp and the green party and the green party which get one vote thank god the green party yeah gets like yeah yeah a couple of fucking tree humpers. and they donate it to ndp or whatever which yeah. is ndp's kind of think of like communism liberal is allegedly supposed to be in the middle a bit liberal's supposed to be middle but they're a little left they're, they're much left now yeah and then yeah, our conservatives really aren't that extreme. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Both of ours aren't really that crazy. They're they're both pretty similar. It's just the guy at the Yeah, at the helm, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Again, I think it's just somebody choosing a party and other than the NDP, which is a socialist party that people think is the bee's knees. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh yeah, we're the same as UK. The Ook yeah, the ook. Yeah, we do have a parliament. Yeah, we are uh, very UK-ish. Times change, no comedy's ever green. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, I've been telling my dad this. I've been watching a lot of, like, Don Rickles and, like, <laughs> old-time comedians. Yeah. And just hearing, like, what they say on stage. It's a lot more, like, classy, but at the same time, their word, their vocab is a lot more crass. Like, crass? Yeah. Or you... People would say it's like racist or whatever now. Oh, I see. Like yes. The yes. terms they use for certain right. ethnicities and stuff. Right. It's like, but back then it's just. It wasn't nobody. It was what it was. Yeah. But their jokes were much cleaner in terms of like, they're not talking about like their ass hairs or like, you know. Like, yeah, never, never. No. Like what the comedians go to now. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, a different a form. So even though people think now that his word usage would have been disgusting, it's also like. Yeah, and if you take one second of non-reactionary listening, you realize that the vocabulary isn't really that racist or out of place or whatever you want mm -hmm. to call it nowadays, what you call it um, uh, politically correct. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, they were never, uh, terms were never used in uh, damaging ways in those days, mm -hmm. you know. But Don Rickles was pretty, he was pretty um, rough. Extreme for the day. Extreme for the day. Yeah. Yeah. That's he what made, a lot of people said. Yeah. But... He made me uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 He was an uncomfortable guy. Yeah. But yeah, the more I, I watch it, the more I start to understand like how he got so popular and just how everybody started embracing him and everything. Yeah. And it's cool seeing uh, his stories with Frank Sinatra and everything. Oh, he, yeah. he was the only one that would actually say something to Frank. Yeah, He's that's like, that's rare. They're like eating dinner and, and Don's like, hey, Frank, why don't you do me a favor and pass the whatever, like pass yes. the bread or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, can't you see I'm eating, Don? And he's like, does it look like I give a shit? Do I, like, should I start clapping for you? Yeah, and then that was all the Italians like look at Frank and be like, yeah, do we, yeah, do we laugh? Or yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, so he kind of got this respect of, yeah. Was, he had this tone, apparently, that he said that. Right, like, like or I just like he could walk that line and yeah. he had a way of saying things that wasn't personal. Yeah. You know, some people can say things and get away with um just it doesn't hurt their feelings. Right. Like it's like Yeah. Well the, there was the delivery. Like, like you say, Frank was uh from what I know, I mean Dean Martin was the other person who who Frank was totally powerless with mm -hmm. as like uh Sinatra if you were partying with Sinatra, you had to stay all night. Mm -hmm. You couldn't leave without his permission or unless he left. Uh, except Dean Martin would just be like, I'm leaving. Yeah. And, and, you know, Frank would want him to stay. But Dean Martin was the only guy to get away with stuff like that. Yeah. You know, and um, and all maybe maybe Rickles, too. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, it's a very different different kind of 
but what a time. It's you cool because they were all era. in World War II. So then in the 50s, all vets of some sort, they hung out in Vegas. and Yeah, they were good men. Mm -hmm. Hollywood, they were actually good men, right? I mean, mm -hmm. all of, most of Hollywood were vets, World War II vets. But a, a lot of singers were vets. So and they all understood how lucky they had it. Kind of missing now. Yeah, there's a big difference between the Hollywood then and now. Yeah. In terms of... They've got all the money and the wealth and the extreme shit, but they haven't been through the bad stuff. Yeah, Rickles was in World War Two. yeah. Yeah, he was a, a seaman. Yeah. And living through the war, even if you didn't participate, you still suffered the extreme fears and you all, everyone knew someone who had lost people. I mean, you in America, you guys are very familiar with that a lot, I think, way more than we are. Because, you, you know, America is all over the world and, and uh, you guys suffer a lot of combat losses and stuff. Yeah, they're, uh, America's in there. And they're like swimwear. <laughs> but, yeah, we don't really do much as Canada, so, which is good. good I mean, bad, but yeah. No need for us to dip our fingers into combat. Yeah. But we do, um, I mean, we've always, like, had our part in. In big contests. Battles, and yeah. we're always there for, like, UN, like, um. Yeah, peacekeeping. Peacekeeping. Yeah. We do a lot of peacekeeping. Yeah. So. That's one thing. Canadians were instrumental in D-Day, yes. Yeah, we were D-Day. We were in what's World War I, the at the top of the hill. Um, the Somme or um, Somme. Ibris or... <clears throat> was a, they were at like the top of the hill, and I think it was like Germans are the, around the whole hill, and they're defending the, the base oh. of the mound. Um, oh, shit. I forget. Yeah, but it, it was a super yeah. popular... Like, movie? Almost Final Stand. I don't okay. know if they made a movie out of it or not, but we learned about it in school. And another uh, part where they're it must like. must have been the Somme or something. Like, Canada has, like, a, some epic battles. Yeah. I just know? like, one thing about the Canadian reputation is we just don't stop fighting for yeah. some reason. Yeah. It's like, it was rare that we retreated. Yeah. It's My like, grandfather was in with the Canadians in World War II. Right. He was with the was called the Essex Scottish and they suffered they had the bad distinction of suffering more casualties than any other Canadian unit in World War Two. Mm. So of course their unit <clears throat> went in Dieppe, which was before D Day a year and uh and they got slaughtered. It was a, a test landing. Oh right. Yeah. And they, they were slaughtered. And then um some made it back to England, and isn't that crazy? Yeah, being killed for a, a practice run of D-Day. Yeah, put into German trenches for a while to get the mentally unsuspect. Oh, that's funny. I never heard that one. That's pretty funny. That'd be cool. Or, yeah, uh, good idea. Even back then, without technology, they make it work. Yeah. So yeah. Throwing bananas and then all of a sudden a hand grenade comes in. <laughs> yeah. Like it's not fucking food. Hey, it's a pineapple. <laughs> as they used to say. But that is pretty funny, actually. <laughs> yeah. It all resorts back down to the to the man, I guess. And then you know what? Again, I guess you could say that comes to November too, because you know, you got all these men suffering from PTSD, including um burnout, uh whatever uh what do you call it um um oh gosh shell shock in those days that oh, was yeah. world war one I, I think was called shell shock world war two was called like i'm not sure uh, a little a little more sophisticated than that that's world war two they finally ag admitted there was burnout yeah world war one it was just cowardice yeah um and then of course after world war two well, World War One was probably the worst conditions, conditions. ever yeah. of a war, like yeah, because it was a mix of technology and raw peer, like yeah, and I guess it's hard to compare, but still, it's like yeah, it was just a mix of 
Yeah, I mean, dying is dying, but their living conditions and their commanders in World War II, the British commanders were just the old school where they didn't care about human. They just World like, War II or World War One. World War One. Yeah. Did I say two? Yeah. Oh, World War One. There was some of it in World War Two. There's just so much trench warfare, right? It's like yeah, yeah, and and commanders had just said, "Look, attack, attack, attack," even though they were getting killed. They oh, keep doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't have to earn your stripes in World War One to be an officer. Yeah, uh, you could just buy your way in. No chocolate bars like in World War Two. That's true. No chocolate bars. The Germans didn't have meth, so every side was kind of feeling the burn. Yeah, yeah, they didn't have rations. Uh, in World War One, like they did, I saw this guy on YouTube, and and he was actually really good. I, he's gone now, but he uh, had a lot of followers, and all he did was eat rations. Oh, he's no not making videos anymore. Not that I've been able to find. No, and uh, I think he ate every ration. So he would uh, have people sending him rations from every country in the world, which is cool. Um, the Italian ration was by far the most awesome, and then um, and then he would find old rations so people would so we actually had a ration from the civil war which when i say that it was a rolled up it was a prepared piece of meat or something and he ate it yeah steve mre that's it that's funny yeah it's Rock still news. yeah he was amazing but he actually ended up getting sick everybody warned him you know look you're gonna catch um whatever it is from eating rotten food and he ended up actually getting really ill <laughs> so um there's a video about that like well him. yeah he had to take time off and and then when he came back he ended up wearing like um glasses and and he would test it or something oh wow so he was actually yeah yeah he got really ill like, jesus christ everybody there was doctors that would watch and they'd <laughs> warn him look you're gonna get yeah whatever because this guy would eat 100 year old food yep more yep. than 100 years yeah well the, the civil war one was one of his extreme like wow yeah that's and one in a million things to yeah. ever get it too right and he would collect them which is cool so if they were old he'd always only eat it if there were two if somehow really? he could buy two so he could keep one for his collection yeah even the civil war one you think get two well, that one might have been almost like that fine wine. You just decide it's time to drink it. Crack it open. Yeah, and that'd it's be, gone. Because, I mean, that'd be pretty tough to find, too. It was gross. It was some sort of powdered meat or something, and you scrape it off. Or, ugh. Yeah. It'd probably just be... Oh, beef bullion. Beef bullion. That was it. That's what it was called? Yeah. Oh. Gross. Yes, that was it. Botulism. I think that's what it might have been. Um, He might have gotten sick. I wonder if he's still on. I should have a check because I really like him. Well, let's see. Oh, let's do a Google Steve, job. Steve at 1989 MRE or something. Uh, there you go. American YouTuber. Oh, well, he's looking older on the uh, uh, bottom see. right. Let's see. Let's see what oh, Steve's up four to. Four days ago. Four days ago, 2024. So he's learned his lesson. He's gone. He's gotten newer. Oh, okay. He's got a brand new one. Yeah, he's he's okay. going 2024, 2023, 2024, 2023. Yeah, 1968 hot climate survival kit. Climate. Yeah, yeah. Now 2011 Chinese individual soldier oh. self heating food review. 1939 emergency air corp ration survival MRE. Oh yeah. So he's still he's still. Um, Dipping into 1917 U.S. World Reserve War Ration Hard Bread Review. Yeah. Nine months ago. Hmm. Wow. 33 minutes to eat a piece of hard bread. He, he, yeah, I love the way he opens them and he puts them on a plate and he always goes, nice, nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nice. That's funny. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to have to like, look uh, good. Well, that's cool. He's got some I can catch up on. Yeah. There you awesome. Go. A bunch of new rations. Yeah. He's learned his lesson. Yeah. I had bought some rations to go up to the mountains in my uh, 4x4s. I used to go up there all the time. So, um, but unfortunately, and they were only 2011 or something, but they had dated out or something. They weren't. They, it just wasn't good. <laughs> it just, well, maybe it wasn't good. We ate a couple of the MREs and we're like, yeah, that's not. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it, it just wasn't good. Leave it to the. 
in desperation. Yeah. Just like, right, which is what they're for. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, they weren't that good. No. Except, uh, no, no, they weren't good. I was going to say the uh, lasagna or whatever it was, but no, it just lacked something. Freshness. Yeah, freshness. <laughs> I like to try the Italian ones because he said they were the best. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, they probably could have had a good they one. They had some but... really good stuff. Hmm. Yeah. And lots of extras. Yeah. You know, candy, chocolate. Cigarettes. Yeah. They didn't, they used to put condoms in them, but uh, no condoms and no cigarettes anymore. Which, I mean, a guy in the trench, what do you want? No wonder no one's enlisting anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No cigarettes, no condoms. What the fuck? Yeah. No bottle of booze, no nothing. Yeah, yeah. They're expected to just show up and fire a gun the whole time. Yeah, exactly. And get what? shot without any of the extras for Christ's sakes. Fuck. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. The Canadians a long time uh yeah, since um Somalia um stopped the Canadian rum ration or whatever it was or and uh and and Something else too. They used to give them rum. They uh yeah. I mean, in Navy that was standard fare, right? They right. Rent rum ration. I don't know if they still do it there, but they oh they didn't allow Canadians to drink when they were off duty. They couldn't even go with the Americans or anybody and have drinks off off when they were off duty. Were new or old? Like when was that? Well, that was like in the two thousands or the nineteen ninety nine nineteen nineties. I think. Ugh. Yeah, it was just horrible. And sit there and watch everybody else have a drink. Yeah, they weren't allowed to drink. Jesus. Hmm. That's okay. Come with me to huh. get <clears throat> hawk tush. Hawk tush. Hawk tua. Mm -hmm. From a boo. Get tua. fucked. Blowjob. Oh. <laughs> Henry Cavill and his dad. Mm -hmm. Yep. Choop. Oh, what else is going on? Yeah. What okay. else is going on? Five more minutes to kill. Uh, or a little bit longer, I guess. Well, we've got a bunch of junk from the house that's being... Uh, moo, 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 soon, moo, so. moo, oh. moo, 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 This is my favorite. Moo, 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 You like the moo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, yeah, we got a... I got a guy's... Guy's coming to pick up a whole bunch of garbage from us moving into the new house in five or ten minutes, too. Yeah, a bunch of just old shit. Yeah. But... Eh, whatever. I might yeah. go back to bed. I don't know. But again, got about five hours of sleep, so I might. Oh, really? uh, yeah, I went to bed at like five. So holy right. Wow. Yeah. Well, we were playing Sea of Thieves. Have you seen much of the Sea of Thieves? Not really. Well, on your uh, the uh, video. Yeah, your wind up of October. That was funny. Yeah. Yeah. I like the ghost one though. That the ghost, ghost game. game it's a lot of freaking fun. hilarious. Yeah, phasmophobia. It's called. It's yeah. It's really good. Um. I really enjoy it. Yeah, that's a hilarious. I feel so bad for the guy who got uh, stuck in the room, and you guys watched him from the outside, and he ran around. Oh, Joe! Was yeah, him. that was so <laughs> poor bastard. Yeah, Joe is. I, I I love Joe. Joe's funny. He's uh from Texas. Pure, yeah, purebred Texan. Yeah, that so, was uh, so funny. The poor bugger. Help! Help! <laughs> Ghost chases him in the house. Yeah. And uh, then, yeah. Go ahead. No, and then, of course, you open the door or something, and the poor ghost has him by the neck. So once you, once the Joe, Joe, fuck, once the ghost <laughs> is hunting, yeah, it, like, you anger the ghost, he locks the front door, and he hunts you. So oh. you have to run and hide and not make any noise. And if you talk in your microphone, he, yeah. hears, he can hear you. What? Really? Yeah, so it can track you through noise, or if you're, if you walk around, it'll hear your footsteps in the game. Oh, so God. so like and so the front door locks so you can't get out yeah so you have to hide or oh, more more than likely you're gonna die like oh especially if you're the only one in there so yeah joe so he can technically even hear you breathing in the microphone if you could hear if you you're speak. like if it's like, oh, yeah. like right there but yeah yeah it is creepy it is cool uh it's a really fun game i've been enjoying it yeah it, it's been nice to play with people when it instead of just myself yeah so. yeah and it's a different twist. You don't just shoot them because you can't. Like, you just literally got to get away. Yeah, you can't, like, defend yourself, really. But, um, well, some ghosts you can defend yourself. Yeah. Like, but, like, 
take a picture of them and they'll disappear. Like, oh, not like oh, shoot or okay. like you can't kill them. But you run out of film like that one. One you like, oh my god, I only have one picture left. When you had the mannequin, and you guys were taking pictures of the, <laughs> oh, yeah. of the mannequin, taking pictures of the boobs, of boobs, yeah, <laughs> getting pictures of the important stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, it's also good playing with other yeah, people gotta, like I... a scary game because you can have those moments. Well, yeah, because the, the, com the comedic relief during an intense thing obviously was important. It's it's nice. Yeah, so. yeah, we'll play it again. I'm sure. Uh, whenever we can get a group together i yeah. i enjoyed it that's so funny that's nice i yeah, played a lot of fun games this month actually so yeah the sea of thieves is, looks like a fun game too i like the graphics the little bit of cartoony like yeah. colorful soft yeah playful so vr set you can move your head oh you can just oh <laughs> cheat the game oh yeah that phasmophobia it had it's vr capable so you can oh do that God, in vr that would be scary i wouldn't like that that would be too scary when yeah. if it jumped up behind you or something yeah or, or like oh. hearing it like right behind you and yeah yeah and put hairs up on my neck so that would be scary i really wouldn't want that when's papa playing games i have no idea when i get a what do you call that twitch or whatever or when you can talk to each other no or just a Discord. Discord, yeah. When I but, get a Discord. Mr. You could start Twitch, but you need to get set up and everything. Yeah, and, I'd have to. Have yeah. a, I tried many years ago. I can't, yeah, Discord, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I I can't remember. But you know what? I, I was always the one who held the team back, so you know, I was never popular. Still that way in WoW. If, I get, <laughs> if, I, if I'm in WoW and uh, I'm in a team and they always boot my ass out. Oh, in a group? Yeah. It's either they don't say anything or they just, I'm gone. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm used to getting booted out of groups. World of Warcraft is, because it's, like, so old, it's, like, you have to, like, know what you're doing and just be, like, like yeah. you be able to just do the most damage and, and, like, keep up, like, pace and everything. Oh. Like, it's, like, people, it's just, like, this steam train of grinding xp yeah people and everybody's just, so good at it yeah it's like people sign up for a dungeon they're like okay like everybody should know the mechanics yeah, or whatever yeah and it's like and we're just gonna nail it out so we can move on to the next run again like, yeah to do it again and that's yeah. hard to be to do when you don't know it and you just jump in and they're like you don't know it yeah 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 see ya let's frog, frog. Appreciate you, my boy. <sighs> yeah, it was fun chatting. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I had well, my, uh, my first YouTube video ever hit a thousand views. Oh, right on. So, so that's pretty cool. Cool. Of the scary game playthrough. Oh, is it? Yeah. I was sitting at 1,000, so. Cool. Mm hmm. First a milestone hit. Well, obviously, scary game. People like that, eh? They like to be scared. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, people enjoy seeing me suffer. So it's kind of, uh, oh. I don't know. The satisfaction. People want to see that, I guess. Yeah. Some sort of suffrage. <laughs> I don't know what it with is. With laughter. Same thing with, you know, waxing my legs and shit. People, <laughs> yeah. people, people like what? seeing suffering. So. Yeah. But that's okay. Sea soup was mentioned. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh, is that a bot? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's just a. Uh, it just Somebody. plugs that. So. Oh, I see. It, okay. No. Nope. Gotcha. Yeah. One thousand views, but not a single extra subscriber. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna have to start eating MREs on stream. That's how it works, though. Right. What? Lots of views and. Usually, if it's not, yeah, I mean, people have to really enjoy or connect to, I guess, subscribe or whatever it is, unless you've got a niche market, but yeah, I wouldn't say I'm doing anything too different right now, so. It'll come. Yep, it will yes. come. I mean, like I said, the videos and everything I'm, I'm, I'm proud of, so. Yeah. No, Every month the videos, videos get awesome. better, so. Yeah, they're all videos are hilarious. I watched the new one last night. I think I said it up here at the beginning of the stream. It was so funny. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Yeah. Do you yeah. like the transitions? Like, did you yes. notice like yeah, uh, no. a few times that like just one clip into the other? Yeah, it worked yeah. smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Mom liked it. We both thought it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. 
There's a so. clip of I was saying like no way, and then I cut it off between yeah. the no ways because the clips like lined up. Yeah. It's like no, and then the next clip way, and then but yeah, then I was worked. getting spit roasted by Joe and Oliver. So oh really? Yeah, I don't know if you remember that part. But I remember I remember Joe and Oliver. And Joe's like, it's like, called like, a spit roast boy. Now. Oh oh okay, I remember some of that. It's I called couldn't catch it all. Boy, now take it. Yeah, that was so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's a little bit of a psychopath. <laughs> no, he's cool. Yeah, made it funny. Yeah, it's nice. Like I said, it, it's different to instead of just talking to my monitor, and like when we do this too, I guess it, you know. Yeah, I'm talking to you instead of. Yeah. Because I mean, if you turn my screens off when I'm streaming, it's me talking to a a mon like. Yeah. That would be weird, though. Like, if you don't, like, if Grandma walks in yeah. and sees me streaming, she's like, What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, like, yeah. My grandson's a fucking me. Yeah. He's yeah, like, locked in this room with the drape shots. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, but it, it's weird. I mean, if you took the monitors and turned them off, holy Christ. That, I mean, yeah. What would you be talking to? Yeah. Honestly, like, I know what you mean. To somebody who doesn't know what you're doing, they literally think you're talking to nothing. Yeah. Just a wall. Yeah. Is, I mean, pretty much what I'm doing is talking to a wall. Yeah. But thankfully, there's uh, viewers that come and keep me company and respond when I say stuff. So, yeah. So it's like, yeah. you know. Yeah. But like, if I try to record something, like, uh, for a YouTube video or whatever, like, if I'm, like, looking in the camera, yeah. I can't do it. Oh. Like, Right now, yeah. like, I feel like it's fine. Like, yeah, I know I'm on the stream. I'm used to it. Yeah. But, like, if I end the stream. Right. And I, like, try to, like, bring the energy for a video and, like, sound smooth and, like, fluent or whatever. Right. I can't do it. It's just, like. Isn't that something? It's, like, this block or something that's just, like. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't know. Well, and it'd be different, too, right? If you look right at that. The camera. Is that the camera? Yeah. Yeah. If you look right at it and talk, then it's, like weird <laughs> right? put you in a little trance you just kind of like yeah, actually kind of does kind of gives me the stares right away you yeah. know you know yeah. but but then when you just kind of look away a bit yeah, and it's not as whatever yeah i try not to look at myself too much just because that way you're focused on whatever else is is going on <laughs> but i guess that's why i have three monitors so well, make thanks. monday two hours you really enjoy it well, yeah thank you that's awesome i appreciate it well so we had miscommunication last week saying that we were going to do it every two weeks because i guess we both thought we wanted to do it two out. weeks yeah so. like you say miscommunication or something but you like this i love it yeah so, i enjoy it so yeah we can we can go back to doing it trying to do it every week if you if you want so gives me an hour of fame <laughs> yeah your one hour of fame yep there you go Get a drink of coffee with all these cool young guys some of them are cool <laughs> some of them are soup that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know it's always nice. So yeah, we can try and, like I said, get back to doing it uh, every Monday. Yeah. So it's fun to listen and contribute once in a while. Oh, that's cool. I like that. We can compare tattoos, all of us. Look, uh, tattoos even. That's true. He's tatted up. He's a he's a he's a scumbag. He's it's a scumbag. He's tattooed. He's a yeah. He's a junkie. I'm a tattoo junkie. Well, I don't have any many. I just got. Sorry, guys. I'm not quite sure how to show things. Yeah, it's a little weird when you first. Yeah, so that's kind of, well, same style. Same artist, I think, right? Same artist, yeah. Yeah. That's the kid's name. Same artist that did all of mine one. is are those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do have shoulder ones? Yeah, I got the, uh, my, fam or my favorite one I ever got was done in Hawaii. And she is kind of the, yeah. what's his, oh my, kind of, of course my memory is horrible. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. No, you're good. You can see most of it. It's, uh, what's his name? Sailor Jerry's famous mm -hmm. one. And I got that done on, uh, uh, Kauai? Ka uh, yeah, Kauai. Kauai. Yeah. By a girl who studied under a guy who was, whatever, anyway. Yeah. First removed from Sailor Jerry. How's that? <laughs> Right, yeah, she was, yeah. I remember that. She was really good. So, anyway. All right, well. All right, guys. Um, listen, good luck tomorrow. Uh, America goes through all your changes. and uh, All the usual. The world carries on always. It's always up to our little world, you know, that we make a difference, you know. 
it's really what you do in your own day-to-day -day yeah. life. Yeah. All of these. How you treat people. Macro things are, it's a steam train you can't really stop. Right. So make sure the micro things you do manage and keep healthy and, yeah. and sane. Don't, yeah. Don't watch a lot of news and stuff and just try and be good to people that are in your world. Because, like you said, um, you can't control the big, big thing. You know, you do your voting and that's the best you can do. Yeah. And the world carries on the next day like it never happened anyway. And that's the part about politics that annoys me is the amount of division and hate. That's right. and, uh, yes, just that's the bad part. Both sides. It's just they we everybody both sides talks about division and yeah. they want to bring the country together. But the whole time I've seen this election, it's choose what side you're on. And if you're on the wrong side, you're a piece of shit. It's yeah. Like both sides. And it's just like. Yeah. And that's exactly what both sides say they're not going to do. Yeah. And it ends up always doing that so yeah they're polarizing it's just like the only way to beat them is to be nice to your neighbor and take care of your family and friends yeah right? yeah it's like i don't give a shit who you vote for if you don't if you're a good person and you don't right. hurt anybody it's like right who gives a shit what your political leaning is yeah everyone's allowed their opinion and yeah be I good mean, to people in your life that's what i've done anyway always yeah want out the other go the extra mile to help people you never know when you'll need their help so it's yeah. always don't expect a favor, but I mean, if you're treating people the way you want to be treated, then they, if they're a good person, they should come back and help you yeah. the same way you help them. Yeah, it does. It does come back. So anyway, Eventually. All right, boys. With that. Everybody, enjoy your Monday. My guys are here to help move all the junk away now. Yeah, look at that. Perfect timing. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye right. now. Thank you.